The following content this episode is owned by Best Galaxy Australian Studios. Re-uploading episode for without permission will be strongly prohibited. is the finally next on Best Galaxy Australian Breaking News, Wednesday, 17th of May, 2023. Good evening, welcome to the Best Galaxy Australian Breaking News, my name is Trussus273829, but... Where is Galaxy Australian Guy? News 1, the world is almost certain to experience new record temperatures in the next five years and temperatures are likely to rise by more than 1.5 C above pre-industrial levels, scientists have warned. The breaching of the crucial 1.5c threshold, which scientists have warned could have dire consequences, should be only temporary, according to research from the World Meteorological Organization, WMO. However, it would represent a marked acceleration of human impacts on the global climate system and send the world into uncharted territory, the UN agency warned. Countries have pledged, under the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement, to try to hold global temperatures to no higher than 1.5 C above pre-industrial levels, after scientific advice that heating beyond that level would unleash a cascade of increasingly catastrophic and potentially irreversible impacts. A fire that erupted in a Wellington hostel, killing at least six people, is being investigated as arson by New Zealand's police, who have started a homicide inquiry. Nobody has been arrested, Inspector Dion Bennett said on Wednesday. He would not say why officers believed the fire was deliberately lit or whether accelerants were used. A day after fire ripped through the 92-room hostel there is still no definite number of people missing, Bennett said. The current total of those unaccounted for is less than 20, including the six confirmed killed, he said. Gut feeling is that yes, it may climb, said Bennett of the death toll. News 3, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Dutch leader Mark Rutte have agreed to build an international coalition to help procure F-16 fighter jets for Ukraine, the British government has announced. A Downing Street spokesperson said Sunak and Rutte would work to build an international coalition to provide Ukraine with combat air capabilities, supporting with everything from training to procuring F-16 jets. The Prime Minister reiterated his belief that Ukraine's rightful place is in NATO and the leaders agreed on the importance of allies providing long-term security assistance to Ukraine to guarantee they can deter against future attacks. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Dutch leader Mark Rutte have agreed to build an international coalition to help procure F-16 fighter jets for Ukraine, the British government has announced. A Downing Street spokesperson said Sunak and Rutte would work to build an international coalition to provide Ukraine with combat air capabilities, supporting with everything from training to procuring F-16 jets. The Prime Minister reiterated his belief that Ukraine's rightful place is in NATO and the leaders agreed on the importance of allies providing long-term security assistance to Ukraine to guarantee they can deter against future attacks. News 4, Crane has said it has neutralized the Kremlin's most potent hypersonic weapon, shooting down six out of six Kinsel missiles launched at Kiev, but hours later, it emerged the intense nighttime attack had damaged a Patriot air defense system. 
Yuri Inat, a spokesperson for Ukraine's Air Command, said Moscow had also bombarded the capital with nine caliber missiles and three ballistic rockets, as well as six attack drones and three reconnaissance drones. All were shot down, he said, thwarting what he called air terrorism. But the attack appeared to have damaged a US-made Patriot air defense battery, US sources told CNN later on Tuesday. Officials warned the system may have to be withdrawn entirely depending on the level of damage it had sustained. An assessment was ongoing, they added. Okay guys it's time to commercial, we'll be right back. Whopper could unite the nation No matter if you like impossible or double bacon We can agree there's a Whopper for you 200,000 ways, boom, there's the proof FBK, have it your way Dito na tayo sa Jureng Kung saan lahat ay okay Sa Jureng Lahat dito ay super bull Lahat mga mga hangga dito sa Jureng Sa Jureng Have you or a loved one ever needed something just to feel better? Just something to refresh your mind and body? To take time away from all the troubles in life? Introducing Bloxicola, the all-new best way to feel refreshed. It's high in vitamin A, C, 
D, K, B1, B5, and all those fancy terms. Just look at how refreshed this new book new think so. Hey, that's pretty good. Get your blocks of cold today. Your nearest blocks might feel refreshed today. Blocks of cold. The best way to feel fresh. Right next to which is people. Nobody talks about that. We're back guys, let's move on to the forum shopping mall in Best Galaxy Australian. Okay guys, let's search Best Galaxy Australian. Oh I hear that call. Oh hello Best Galaxy. Hello, process 273829. Why are you doing the forum shopping mall? Because I am looking at the mall. News 5, a baby has died and 23 people are missing after a hippopotamus hit a boat traveling on the Shire River in Malawi, authorities have said. Police in the African country's southern district of Nsan said the canoe was carrying 37 people across the waterway when the incident took place on Monday morning. The Nsanj police spokesperson Agnes Salakoma said that locals managed to pull 13 people from the water while another 23 were still missing on Tuesday. Rescuers also retrieved the body of a one-year-old who had drowned, she said. The search mission to locate the missing individuals is currently underway, Salakoma said. The canoe started to list and eventually capsized after the hippo collided with it, she said. The Shire is Malawi's largest river. Boat accidents are common in the country, where the lack of regular water transport forces many to cross lakes and rivers in sometimes rickety boats in the absence of proper regulations. Last month at least five people died after an overcrowded boat sank in Malawi's central district of Makinji. News 6, the Nigerian musician Sorn Kuti, son of Afrobeat legend Fila Kuti, was arrested for allegedly assaulting a police officer, Lagos State Police said on Monday. An order was made for the arrest of Kuti, a Grammy-nominated saxophonist and singer, on Saturday after a viral video showed him on a road, shouting and apparently pushing and smacking a police officer, police said. He turned himself in early on Monday to the headquarters of the Lagos State Police Command, accompanied by a lawyer and a family representative, a police spokesperson, Benjamin Hunderin, said on Twitter. He has been placed under arrest in line with the law, he said. And finally News 7, tenants and campaigners have warned Michael Gove not to create a backdoor for unfair evictions as private rented sector reforms are unveiled on Wednesday. The legal overhaul will ban no-fault evictions but strengthen landlords' rights to throw tenants out for antisocial behavior. The Secretary of State for Leveling Up, Housing and Communities will announce the Renters Reform Bill affecting 11 million private renters in England. Too many renters are living in damp, unsafe, cold homes, powerless to put things right and with the threat of sudden eviction hanging over them, he will say. That's all, guys from Forum Shopping Mall, we are back to the Best Galaxy Australian Studios new studio. Thank you for Galaxy Australian Guy from live in the forum shopping mall, Khartoum, and its neighboring cities on Tuesday as fighting between the country's warring factions intensified sharply.
New battles between the Army and the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, flared from dawn in North and South Khartoum, as well as in the adjacent cities of Andaman and Bori, as the Army sought to defend its bases from its paramilitary rival. The Army has been trying to cut off RSF supply lines from outside the capital, as well as to secure strategic sites including the airport in central Khartoum and the Al Jalai oil refinery in Bori, observer said. The RSF claimed to have captured 700 regular soldiers in an attack on an army base in the Al Jalai district, in addition to a large ammunition dump. The RSF's chief media officer shared a clip on a journalist's WhatsApp group showing hundreds of captive army soldiers walking in single file, some barefoot and none with weapons. There was no immediate response from the army and the clips have not been verified. Both sides have frequently made exaggerated or otherwise misleading claims during the more than four weeks of fighting. OK guys, it's time to commercial break, we'll be right back. Whopper could unite the nation No matter if you like impossible or double bacon We can agree there's a Whopper for you 200,000 ways, boom, there's the proof F-E-K, have it your way Dito na tayo sa Kung saan lahat ay okay Sa Lahat dito ay super cool Lahat mga maganda dito sa Sa
Have you or a loved one ever needed something just to feel better? Just something to refresh your mind and body? To take time away from all the troubles in life? Introducing Bloxicola, the all new best way to feel refreshed. It's high in vitamin A, C, D, K, B1, B5, and all those fancy terms. Just look at how refreshed this new book can you think so. Hey, that's pretty good. Get your Bloxy Cola today at your nearest Bloxy Cola and feel refreshed today. Bloxy Cola, the best way to feel refreshed. Right next to Richard and Pete, but nobody talks about that. Hey guys, we're back, let's move on to the final news, Australian news. Australian News 1, the Deputy Prime Minister, Richard Miles, said in a speech today that the full ambition of AUKUS will only be realised if the transfer of technology and information between Australia and the US is a seamless. Wages increased at annual rate of 3.7% in the March quarter, topping expectations. The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, has revealed the Quad meeting will not be going ahead after US President Joe Biden's withdrawal. India's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, is still expected to come to Australia this year. Anthony Albanese criticised Liberal MP Stuart Roberts' no-show at Parliament as completely unacceptable. Some of the injured children involved in yesterday's collision between a school bus and a truck will have to undergo amputations. The truck driver was charged earlier today. The shadow treasurer, Angus Taylor, was at the National Press Club and rejected suggestions the opposition rhetoric on migrants had emboldened fascists. The former Liberal shadow Attorney General Julian Leeser said the voice referendum wording was a stumbling block for some to vote yes. Sydney recorded a new low in rental listings, with the number of new listings falling 17% month on month in April on realestate.com.au, the lowest it has been in a decade. The Falls Festival will not ring in 2024, with organisers announcing the National New Year's event will take a year off to recalibrate. The AFL has decided against a Twilight Grand Final, confirming the 2023 decider will be held at the traditional time of 2.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on 30 September at the MCG. The Miles Franklin longlist was announced and included 11 Australian novelists. OK guys, that's all news, I will see you tomorrow at Thursday when the Galaxy Australian guy is there.